annual Shared History Festival celebrates the cultural ties between India and South Africa, but it certainly isn't stuck in the past. There's a strong focus on how heritage is being kept relevant in the contemporary world, and the Srijan Dance Company demonstrated how creativity makes this possible. The performance was presented at the Fringe at the Joburg Theatre Complex. Srijan specializes in the classical dance style known as Odissi, which was revived after India attained independence. Do you think Odissi has been adapted in any way over the years in order for it to conform to a contemporary style? I would say if you are going to the syllabus of our Odissi, we have uh, three contexts and we are taking the first and third, making it together. It may look like contemporary, may look like, but it is within the uh, boundary of Odyssey. Surjan was founded by the late Guru Kelucharan and Mohapatra as a commune of dancers dedicated to teaching and performing the Odyssey style as a form of spiritual dedication. How long does it take to become an Odyssey dancer? I am actually born into a family where dance is actually the legacy. Okay. So the person who actually invented Odyssey dance is my grandfather. For me, it has been like when I was in my mother's womb. <laughs> <laughs> and what does the dance form mean to you personally? For me, uh, it's just one simple word, it's just offering to God. Whatever I have learned, whatever I mean, I can say through that. Although the origins of Odyssey can be traced back over some two millennia, the dance was subjected to severe repression by foreign rulers, especially during the era of the British Raj. It took considerable efforts to revive the tradition, and Srijan's founding Guruji played a major role in doing so. Srijan is derived from a Sanskrit word meaning creation, and it refers to the creativity that is such an essential element of dance. Odissi originated as a classical dance in the Hindu temples of an area known as Odisha on the east coast of India. And the spiritual aspect of their arts continues to inspire the dancers. The dramatic or narrative element has always played a key role in Odissi, which is also known by the older word Urissi. Dancers in collaboration with musicians and vocalists present a mythical story, a devotional poem or a spiritual message through the medium of movement and music. As in other forms of Indian classical dance, costumes, posture, movement, expression and gesture are highly stylized and all have symbolic significance. Odyssey is characterized by the concept of the Bhangas, which describe the symmetrical forms created by the stance and movement of the dancer. Each Bhanga is in turn subdivided into lower, mid and upper elements, involving footwork, the position of the torso and the position of the head and hands. This performance includes an invocation, expressive dance, dance drama and pure dance, all with the ultimate aim of attaining moksha or a spiritual release for the performers and the audience. The performance of the Srijan dancers certainly produced a resonance among the audience. About the performance, Karisha asked India's Consul General in Johannesburg about the idea behind the cultural festival. Can you tell us the main aim of the Shared History Festival? This was started to celebrate the togetherness of India and South Africa. As you know, India has been a friend of South Africa for the last six decades. And we believe that we have a lot of things in common, the art, the culture. Getting artists from India working together and encouraging the local people to come and enjoy this show will get both the nations closer. And as you know, the diversity in both the countries is immense, but we are united in that. Odissi is a dance form that is less familiar to South African audiences than Bharatanatyam or Kathak. 
so the opportunity offered by the Shed History Project was particularly appreciated by local dance lovers. We were chatting myself and uh, Ravindra that it is, you know, is it real? Are we in some dream? Okay, but uh, he said, you know, it is seeing is believing.